Because I know a lot of people have the issue where my hair is wet, it looks great, but then once my hair dries, it looks crazy. It's probably because you're... Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax. I am the CEO of Curly Hair. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get natural, pop-in, defined curls with very minimal effort. I'm going to be showing you how to use your own curl pattern and make it really pop without having to do the finger coils or spending hours and hours on your hair. So if you're one of those people who watch my videos and you just feel like I just don't have time to be doing all that this is definitely the video for you so boom as you know most of the time our routine starts in the shower however when you are trying to get your natural curls to pop a helpful tip that you can add into your routine before you even step in the shower is to use a clay hair mask this is not necessary but it does help your natural curls pop more you guys have seen me use clay masks before in my videos my favorite one right now is this one from bread because you really don't have to do much it's already mixed and you literally just put it on your dry dirty hair let it dry up and then get in the shower and wash it out. What the clay mask does is it pulls mineral buildup out of your hair. And what is mineral buildup? Well, when you get in the shower, if you don't have a special filter on your shower, typically tap water and when it goes through its cleaning process, a lot of minerals are left in the water and those go into your hair and they get stuck there. And they can make your curls not curl so well. And so using a clay mask on your hair, it pulls those minerals out of your hair so that your curls can really pop the way they need to. Again, this step's not necessary, but it definitely does help. So next up, boom, you get in the shower, you're gonna wash your hair, pick your favorite shampoo. I will leave everything that I use in this video down below, and they will be, if I can find them, affiliate links, which do support me and my channel. So thank you if you do choose to purchase anything that I talk about in this video. But so we start off with the shampoo, clean your hair, make sure to really clean your scalp because having a fresh scalp is gonna help with your hair growth if you are trying to grow your hair, but also too, just for cleanliness reasons, you know what I'm saying? But you also wanna work the shampoo down the shafts of your hair because you really wanna get your hair nice and clean so that you have a fresh slate inside that your curls can just really do what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Once you rinse the shampoo out, you can move straight to deep conditioner. Yes, you can skip conditioner, but I do not recommend you skip deep conditioner. It's just my personal philosophy. I use a hair mask or a deep conditioner every single time I wash my hair. I just feel like it's very important and y'all see the material. Well, yeah, conditioner is typically used to restore the moisture in your hair and to help with detangling, which hair mask or deep conditioner does that plus some. So for me, I typically tend to skip the conditioner a lot of times. And I just go straight to the deep conditioner. You wanna find one that has a good slip. So after your hair is clean, you're gonna go ahead and work your hair mask or your deep conditioner in your hair. And one of my little tricks when I'm using a hair mask or deep conditioner is to add a little bit of water to it. Like put the hair mask in your hair and then wet your hair a little bit. It's gonna add more slip. It's gonna help the deep conditioner spread around more so that way you can use less. And also that I mentioned, it just makes the hair mask way more slippery and easier to detangle. I will go in with a wet brush. Once again, I'll have one linked down below and I just kind of like put my hair against my hand and then just kind of brush my hair through from the ends to the roots. I always have so seamless like effortless detangling when I do it this way and it doesn't take me forever. Now if your hair is not long enough to put on your hair literally just work that brush through your hair just detangle. The purpose is to detangle your hair. So detangle your hair. Okay. So like for example if you have short hair when my hair was shorter just work that brush through your head. Just make sure that your hair is getting really nicely detangled. So while that's in my hair I will go ahead and take my shower I'm killing two birds and one stone this is a great time table when it comes to your hair deep condition while you do other things right after you finish taking your shower you're gonna rinse the hair mask out right but what you're gonna do is rinse it out upside down you do not want to rinse the hair mask right or the deep conditioner onto your clean body that's how you get back knee and acne all over your body if you are struggling with acne on your body one of the culprits might be you rinsing product on your clean body after you've taken the shower turn your head upside down and rinse it out or even if you want to leave it in get out the shower and then rinse your hair like in the sink or something like that just so that way you're not rinsing this product on your clean body because it's just going to sit on your clean body body and it can cause you to break out and have acne and all this kind of stuff so that's a really big tip to prevent getting body acne I used to have body acne real bad and it's cleared up very well because I stopped doing that so boom after hair mask is rinsed out now it is time to put in our leave-in conditioner our hair is nice and moisturized from the hair mask but we just rinsed it out and so our hair has been restored but we need to add a layer of moisture that is going to stay on our hair and so that's where using a leave-in or a hair cream or a hair butter I kind of rotate through a couple different leave-ins and moisture and I also like to try new things. So you just gotta work it in your hair. Don't overthink it, just put it in your hair. Just so that all of your hair feels nice and moisturized. And then real quick, another tip. 
Before I go into styling, another tip that will really help your natural curls pop is a trim. A trim will always make your hair just look so much better, so much healthier. You're getting rid of some of those dead ends and it like literally works wonders for your curls. I don't do this every single time, but I do pretty often give myself a little a tiny itty bitty trim. And I don't really have rules or like a guideline for doing it. I literally just kind of grab some of my hair and I just kind of like go with my gut where I feel like trimming it and I just trim it. Now most people would recommend that you use professional hair cutting shears to cut your hair, but I think most people don't just have a pair of professional hair cutting shears laying around in their house. And so I think as long as your scissors are very sharp, like you can cut it once and it doesn't like buck, like it cuts through. In my own personal opinion, I think it's okay. Also too, if you don't trust yourself cutting your hair or you think you're gonna mess it up, go to professional. But for me personally, I just give myself a little trim wherever I feel and I'm good. And a trim will always do your curls justice, okay? After you have your leave-in or your moisturizer in, now you're gonna move on to your hair gel or your styler. This is the step where we're really gonna get our curls to pop and to stay that way, right? This is the step where we're gonna be able to have our hair wet like this, but then when it dries, the curls are still popping and nice and defined. Because I know a lot of people have the issue where my hair is wet, it looks great, but then once my hair dries, it looks crazy. It's probably because you're not using a styler. A styler's purpose is to hold your style in place. Where if you're just using a leave-in or a moisturizer or some people just using conditioner, the purpose of that product is not meant to hold your style in place. And so, yeah, while your hair is wet, it's cool, but then when your hair dries up, it's getting all frizzy because there was nothing to hold it in place. So boom, we move on to our gel. Y'all know my old faithful, the olive oil eco style gel. I love it. It gives me good hold, it gives me good definition, and it allows me to just really like, I don't know, like mold my hair how I want it to. And so what I do is I just split my hair into sections and I just kind of work some in there and this is the key with getting your natural curl pattern to pop because y'all know a lot of times what I would do at this step is start doing the finger coils right but when we just want a quick easy wash and go don't want to do too much we're on the time crunch and we just want to rock our natural curl pattern what you are going to do is you're going to put the gel in there and then you're going to keep wetting your hair the more you wet your hair the more your curls are going to want to like form into their own way but the gel is going to help them clump together so that way they look defined this is literally how I get my natural curls to look like this. I work the product through my hair and I just keep adding water and keep adding water while my curls pop. And then what you can also do is kind of do like a scrunching motion. Don't be too rough with the scrunching because you do not want to disrupt the curl pattern. But at the same time, you want to help encourage the curls to curl up. After that, I literally just let my hair air dry for the most 90% of the time. Sometimes I like to diffuse my hair, but honestly, if I'm being realistic, a lot of times I do not be diffusing my hair. I don't be having time for that you know what I'm saying and so I just let my hair air dry and it you know it takes hours but I don't mind my hair being wet you know because it still looks fine and right now it's summer and it's hot so it's fine but I know sometimes people say in the winter too like oh you get a cold I have never ever 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 gotten a cold from going out with wet hair and so that's just me I'm speaking for myself but I also feel like I remember seeing like somebody say somewhere like that the cold doesn't really give you a cold. It's like something else because you got a weak immunity or something like that. I'm not a doctor or a medical professional, so please do not take this as advice, but I'll just tell you from my personal experience. I have gone out in 20 degree weather with a wet scalp and I never got sick. And then after my hair is dry, yo, this is the final result. Natural, the fine curls, my natural curl pattern is popping. I just feel so good. My hair looks so good. I get compliments all the time and I just love it. So that is all for today's video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you were able to take something away from it. And for everybody who feels like I don't have time to do the finger coils, I don't want to do this long drawn out routine or whatever the case may be. I hope that this was a little bit more of a simple way and an easier way and a quicker way for you to be able to still rock your curls and for them to look so great and not nice and defined and maybe some of these little nuggets can help you to get your curls just a little bit more popping or just a little bit more defined in the way that you want them to be and then, yeah if this video helped anyone at all even one person then my job here is done so thank you so 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 much for watching i really appreciate it so much if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're looking forward to more videos like this then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video if you're not following me on instagram or tiktok be sure to do so at kobe lomax so that you can stay up to date with everything going on with the ceo of curly hair himself and i will see you in my next video